It's Monday and that can only mean one thing. It's Baking Mad Monday. And this time it's all about layers and layers of a beautiful puff pastry with chocolate. I'm Eric Lenlard and today I'm sharing my delicious recipe of a chocolate millefeuille with blackberry and cream. Okay, so the first step is to get um, the puff pastry and um, it's a ready-made one, you know, it's no shame about buying your own puff pastry. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this plain puff pastry to a chocolate puff pastry. So the secret to roll puff pastry is not to press it down because, you know, we've got all these beautiful layers that someone's been making for us, so you don't want to ruin it by just squashing all these layers and just gently roll the pastry. So what we're going to do is we're going to call what we call in technical word, we're going to give it some extra turn, but we're going to add in between some pure cocoa powder. On each turn, sprinkle the cacao and gently roll into the puff pastry. Okay, now I can roll it to fit my baking tray. And I'm rolling it quite thin because I don't want the pastry to rise. You know, we're not doing volovan. Always fill with your hand the pastry. You know, you can feel the thickness and and don't stretch it, because if you stretch it, it's gonna stretch back as soon as you put it in the oven. And I'm just gonna put the pastry in. And finally, before we cook it, I'm just gonna prick it with, right through with a fork. And that again is gonna stop it rising too much. But that's the quality of a fine millefeuille. You know, you should have thin layers of cooked puff pastry. Uh, absolutely doesn't want it to rise, you can see. Pastry goes in a hot oven at 220 degrees for an initial 10 minutes. Let me check our puff pastries. That's been in for probably around 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. You can see it's uncooked, but it starts to get a nice color and it have not rise too much. And by that time, it won't rise anymore. I'm just gonna Put it back in and give it another 10, 15 minutes. So this is nice and golden brown. Next step is to make the cream. And no creme pâtissière for this one. I'm just gonna make a quick chocolate cream. Warm 100 ml of single cream and 100 gram of dark chocolates. And I'm just gonna pour it over the chocolate. I'm just gonna mix it nice and gently. You can see it's start to melt nicely now. Nice and glossy. I know many people who could just Eat it from there. Next step, we're gonna whip some cream. Just bring a few more calories in that dessert. <laughs> Measure out 600 ml of cold single cream. Add two tablespoons of vanilla and whisk to a soft peak. A bit more, I like vanilla. Okay, so that's, um, that's ready. I know it looked darker, but remember you got cocoa powder inside, so that's the chocolate. I'm just gonna cut some. Other ingredients, some lovely blackberries, and we got some creme de cassis as well. So I'm just gonna pour the chocolate cream inside the cream and straight away mix it on. Full speed. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of creme de cassis. But it's just gonna really boost the flavors. So we're just gonna give it another mix. And that's it. The chocolate cream is piped into the chocolate puff pastry. I'm just gonna pipe. The blackberry are arranged on the top. A bit more cream in between. More cream secure a final layer of chocolate puff pastry. A light dusting of icing sugar and cocoa powder. A sexy drizzle of cassis. And this classic French pastry 
become a sophisticated seasonal dessert. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because next Monday will be another Baking Mad Monday. Happy baking and see you next Monday.